depths of this mine comes one of the world's most valuable metals. Despite the value of platinum, above ground at the Impala mine in Rustenburg, many workers live in poor conditions. But Impala Platinum says productivity and profits are down and it now has to restructure its operations. It plans to slash about a third of its workforce. This miner who doesn't want to be identified says while working conditions are often difficult, miners are desperate to save their jobs. It's rare for, for our management to come the underground and see the challenges they're facing as an employee there. So on that regard of us not producing, actually, I think it's an excuse because of there are ways that we can uh, apply uh, for us to, or for the shaft actually, to go higher on production and stuff. Impala Platinum declined Al Jazeera's request for an interview, but released a statement saying the cutbacks would be done responsibly and it would try to save as many jobs as possible. Mining in the Rustenburg area makes up at least 70% of economic activity, with mines employing at least half of the people working here. Three of the largest ones have spent tens of millions of dollars on education, health and local housing programs. So a decline in production would mean more than just job losses for thousands of people. This is where six years ago thousands of mine workers at the neighboring Lonman mine went on strike, demanding higher pay and better living conditions. Police opened fire on the crowd, killing 34 miners and injuring 78 others. The wounds of that day are still raw in this community. The sense of the volatility and, and what this could be leading to was already given in January and February, where there were protests within, within, within Rustenburg. Um, these took a xenophobic form, but they were clearly to do with, with the growing sort of social desperation, which is coming with the downturn in the platinum mining industry there. While most of South Africa's conventional platinum mines, like Impala Platinum, are losing money, further job cuts are not easy to swallow in a country where the unemployment rate has risen to just over 27%. Workers' Union AMCU says it won't accept the job cuts and is considering mass action. The concern for many is that the job cuts could further escalate, simmering labor and social unrest. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Rustenburg, Northwest Province.